Well, this is the Ignite, where you have 15 seconds a slide. I haven't done this before, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, please be patient and bear with me as we kind of walk through this. Um, so I want to talk about DevOps and you know, what it is and what it, what it seems to be. Um, so everything you've, you've seen and everything you're hearing about is all about this thing called DevOps. So really, you know, what is it? And uh, you know, th that's what I want to talk about. So I think we start with common ground. You know, DevOps is really all about trying to find common ground between you, know, you and, and so you can do your own thing also within the dev DevOps environments. And I submit to you that the sooner we get to common ground, it's better for the customer at the end of the day. So these are some of the things that we've been talking about here. So when you look at that list, it's uh, very long, and you wonder what sort of common ground that one could um, you know, bring to this group from, from this list here. So I think we've talked about a whole bunch of these things today. But really, there's kind of five elements that I'd like to uh, present to you today or have you think about as, as a way maybe to get to you know, what is uh, DevOps all about. So culture. Some people believe DevOps is about a major culture shift in their company. So that's certainly one way to look at it. Another is uh, improving performance. Well, I think the improving performance is a huge one. You know, I think that's really, really important uh, and one of the key reasons for embarking on the DevOps journey to begin with. And really, it's all about delivering you know, value to the customer at the end of the day. Tooling and automation, another uh, heavy hitter here. And you know, obviously, over the last few years, there's been a big trend to automate everywhere we can, and that's really all we're hearing about. So that's very, very important. And I think it's one of the biggest game changers in IT in the last few years. Oops, sorry, too fast. Process, um, yes, some processes are going to have to change as, as we kind of migrate to the DevOps environment, certainly within the IT organization. And I think this is certainly definitely the case from my perspective. Lastly, organization. Um, again, this uh, you know, could be one of the most critical and certainly most radical uh, pieces of, of DevOps as we kind of move forward. And really, really important that the organization is really in place. Okay, so we've, we've kind of gone through all, all of those areas. Um, and certainly from a, you know, as DevOps practitioners, you approach DevOps from your own perspective. And I'm, I'm here to say that, you know, it's, that, you know, DevOps demands and deserves and, and needs a really well-balanced approach to, to this. Okay. Um, again, uh, you know, our common goal is, is uh, focusing on, uh, here we are, I'm, getting, I'm slowing down now here. I'll have to pick up the speed. Um, we really are all trying to achieve DevOps. That's what it's all about, and we want to kind of bring the organization together. So this is really what's caused us pain all over the organization, everywhere in the company. Um, you know, the, the, these big silos we have between us here. But I do think that technology and insights we have today is really breaking down a lot of these barriers and moving us towards this concept of called, you know, uh, what I'm calling today service-oriented IT. So I really think that's what, what this DevOps is all about here. Okay, so we kind of start here. Uh, voice of the customer at the end of the day is very important, so that has to come to the table. Um, uh, I think we need to understand our technology stack. I think that's very, very important as we move forward. And also the skills and knowledge of the, of the people are very important. So this actually is, is kind of, we talked about the legacy stuff, but this is certainly, I think, gone by the wayside. We need a different budgeting cycle. We need to prioritize things differently. And certainly, you know, we need to move away from project portfolio management and get rid of everything that's affecting our move to DevOps. So now we're back to people, trying to, you know, put the right DevOps teams together. How do we design the organization? Very important. And, uh, you know, we all know this is really a culture process, too, at the end of the day. Um, oh, sorry, one, no, we're, we're good. So how do we get there? Well, this is kind of a framework that one could, uh, could start with, kind of walk down through the organization performance and start kind of you know, segmenting the areas that the company needs to work on to kind of move you to DevOps uh, at the end of the day. Flow, you know, uh, we, I, I heard some other people talking about flow. I think keeping processes simpler, um, smaller processes, Simplified measurement, we heard about measurements today. I think that's very, uh, very important. And focusing on the end-to-end -end monitoring, I think, at the end of the day is very, very important. And the other thing is here, um, from an automation perspective, we have to have the right skills in the organizations as we kind of move forward. Um, yeah, okay, this kind of speaks to itself. A lot of discussion about automation, uh, you know, really, really important. 
So, so that's my perspective. I, I think at the end of the day, you know, we all have our perspective of DevOps, and I would like you to consider that maybe you know, service-oriented IT is also another um, you know, measure of what we're up to here. So thank you very much.